Hey guys, what's up? It's Jess from Be The Change Tarot. Today we're going to do our August mid-monthly love reading. So these are general readings, guys, which means as much as I want them to, they cannot resonate for everyone out there. So just take what resonates for you and then leave what doesn't behind for somebody else. Um, it is energy, so that means the roles can be reversed. So if you need to flip the roles around for it to resonate, go ahead and do so. Just don't try to force it to fit. If it does resonate, let me know in the comments down below. I love reading your comments. I love talking to you guys. If it doesn't resonate, check out your other sign placement videos. Your moon, rising, and Venus signs sometimes will resonate more than your sun sign will. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Come join our little soul family, and it really does help support the channel. And hit that notification button so you can be notified when we do the weekly check-ins and the mid-monthlies and the monthlies. All right, I'm done. Archangels and guides, please deliver very clear, very concise messages with a very clear understanding for my beautiful Sagittarius for the rest of August. What's going on with my Sagittarius and love for the rest of August, please? Show me very clearly. Sagittarius, your energy feels a little stressed. A little bit stressed. Doing a lot of thinking, a lot of deep thinking. Angels and guides, please show me very clearly. Show me very clearly. Sagittarius and love for the rest of August, please. One more shuffle. Show me very clearly. Alright, let's see. Showing up in your reading. I love this. Okay, so we have quite a few major arcanas on the board. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six major arcanas out of ten. So this is a very significant time in your life. This situation is significant. Um, it's going to have an impact on your life. It's kind of like... The fork in the road kind of energy. Fork in the road. All right. We're going to use a separate deck for clarifying. Recent past, though, we have the Wheel of Fortune. I really like this for you. It's things finally, after a really hard period of time, after a period of time that was, the words they're giving me are taxing on your soul. It was hard for for you emotionally. After a period of time, you know, things finally started to make a come around. You finally started to feel better. The energy lightened up. Oop. Yeah. So in the recent past, either you left somebody out in the cold or they left you out in the cold. Um, either way, whether you had to do the leaving or they left you, it was, you know, a situation that was very hard for you. Either which way it went, it was hard for you. And after that period of time, after going through that experience, and it's hard to, on either side of the board, if you truly love somebody, then it's hard to walk away from them. It's hard to cause them pain. And if you really love somebody and they walk away from you, you know, that hurts. That's painful. It's a, it's a loss. It's like grieving somebody. So either way, you know, that was a hard experience for you, and it was taxing on your soul. And there was a lot of lessons brought from that. And But the wheel turned. The wheel turned forward. Things got lighter. Things lightened up. The energy shifted when you, when, you know, when it started to clear, when the fog started clearing, so to speak. Starting to feel more grounded, my Sagittarius is. Starting to feel like you're at a place where you're taking care of everything and you're doing a good job, whether it's at work, whether it's at home, whether it's your children. Self-care, they're telling me self-care too, wow. So, King of Pentacles, really just, this is kind of like the super mom, super dad energy, you know, the Superman. He can 
go to work, he can come home and take care of the house and take care of the grass and he can take care of himself on a mentally, emotionally and spiritual basis and everyone around him, you know? It's a great energy and you're starting to feel like that. You're starting to feel like you got it together. Really good and strong on your own. Now, you could be with somebody and still feel like that. You can still feel like, okay, just all, even all by myself, I'm rocking it out. And that's kind of how it is. It doesn't mean that you're not, you know, necessarily by yourself. You could be, you could be with somebody, but that's just the energy of it. Like, man, I'm, I'm kicking ass and taking names. All right. See, they're trying to throw stuff out at you. Yeah, feeling really passionate, really independent, really fiery. Like, you have goals, you're going to crush them. And feeling very attractive at this time, too. Feeling really good about yourself. I like it. More fire energy. You're showing up as yourself in the reading, and I love it when this happens. Because it means you're standing in your power, but it also means that you have a certain amount of power all of the power, really, you know, um, as to how this situation comes out. You are in your power. You're showing up as yourself, Sagittarius, temperance. It's also about healing. It's about inner guidance. It's about being divinely guided. So you've been put through the ringer. You've been through a lot emotionally, but you're standing, you're feeling strong, and you're feeling in your power. You know that you're being divinely guided. It doesn't matter if where you're at right now is not where you want to be. You know you're being divinely guided to where you're supposed to be. There's new opportunities and there's new beautiful stability coming for you. And you know that. Your inner being knows that. Whew, this is nice. I like it. I like it a lot. So right now you're wanting to go after the stability. You're wanting to... It looks like you want to make an offer to somebody. To be honest, I'm going to say I just... You're trying to use your intuition. So there's somebody that you're looking at. There's, um, it could be somebody that you're with currently. It could be somebody new. It could be somebody from the past. And I only say that because in your immediate future, we have the Page of Swords here who's looking over at the past. And, you know, this is kind of like a wandering, a spine kind of seeing what they're up to kind of energy. So there's a part of you that, wants to make an offer to somebody, wants some stability with somebody, wants to go in a new direction with somebody, but you're trying to use your intuition. For some reason, they feel, you're, they're telling me that you feel like it's not the right time. It's just not the right time. time there's timing at play here. And that makes sense because you are being divinely guided. So if you're really listening to yourself and you're tapped in and tuned on, you'll know when the right time is. And if it doesn't feel right, then probably right about that but you do want to talk to them you want to talk to them at the very least you want to have a conversation and maybe it's to clear the air maybe it's just to you know make amends but you definitely want to have a conversation with this person and it does look like it might be the person from the past you're finally feeling really good on your own and it looks like they are too because they have the chariot so they're moving forward in their life too in a really positive, beautiful direction. You guys are both in amazing places since this ending. And it looks like, for some reason, that's leading you to want to have a conversation. Maybe to clear the air. Maybe to make amends. Maybe to just share. You know, get closure. But you haven't. You're listening to your intuition about that. For some reason, your intuition is telling you it's not the right time. Tell me about this Page of Swords, please. Why is the Page of Swords here? So this is you looking back at the past, wondering, wanting to talk, wanting to communicate. But at the same time, you had to get yourself really emotionally detached from this person. You had to cut them out to, you know, and put up boundaries. Even if they left you, you still had to, you know, you had to emotionally detach. You had to set up these boundaries with this person. And a part of you is afraid to let that barrier down now to speak to them. Even if it is just for closure, even if it is just to, you know, see how they're doing because you still care about them. Um, there's a part of you that's afraid of unemotionally detaching to opening that door up again. Because there's so much that you don't know. You don't know how they feel. You don't know where they're at with things. 
Um, you don't know if they even want to hear from you. And this is why the moon card is coming up as your challenge. The moon holds things from us. It keeps things from us. So there's just a lot of things hidden from you. There's a lot of things you don't know. And it's really making you not sure what to do, especially with this two of swords here. You can't see clearly. You don't have all the information. You're not sure if it's a good idea. You don't know if you should reach out. So supporting this reading is the devil card. So this is about toxic energy. So this is telling me really strongly that one of the reasons you had to put up so many boundaries and emotionally detach is that um, it feels a lot like codependency. So there was a very toxic energy attached to this separation, to this breakup with this person. Um, very codependent energy. I think, you know, one or both of you had a very hard time actually walking away and letting go. And the heart never breaks or evenly. It just never does. One person is always, you know, more hurt than the other. And I think, you know, for both of you, that was very difficult. And it brought a lot of negative, toxic energy. When one person is chasing somebody and the other person is running, that in itself creates toxic energy. When one person is chasing somebody so hard, it naturally builds up resistance. And the other person can feel that and makes them want even less to do with it. And that in itself can cause more negativity, more toxicity. So, you know, I think that's one of the reasons you had to put up so many boundaries with this person and had to emotionally detach. And you did love this person. You did. If you didn't, you wouldn't be so worried about having closure right now. You wouldn't be wanting to communicate with them. You wouldn't be wanting to see what they're up to, make sure that they're okay. Um, they wouldn't still be showing up in your readings. But, you know, it was hard. And you're just not sure if you want to open that door again. Tell me more about this devil energy, please. For Sagittarius, tell me more about this devil energy. Yeah, when it came crashing down is when the toxicity came out. Absolutely, with this tower here. So, it doesn't mean that the relationship was toxic, but the ending, the breakup was toxic. The breakup was bad. Absolutely. When it came crashing down, the devil came out to play. But your person seems, so whether you decide to choose to talk to them or not, or just you're just thinking about this in your mind, you know, your person, they seem to be doing good. And I say that because they have the chariot. The chariot is where they trust the universe and that the universe pulls them forward into a good direction. They are on the move. They're moving forward. They're going to good places. You can tell even on alone just by the coloring. It's beautiful, bright. They're on their way to sunny, happy places. Oh yeah, clarified by the Nine of Cups. So feeling really good and satisfied by themselves. The Nine of Cups is super important. And I know everybody wants the Ten of Cups because that's like emotional fulfillment with the family and the kids and the rainbows. But you have to get to the Nine of Cups before you can get to the Ten. So it's like you got to catch them all, like the Pokemon, you know. So you have to collect all the cups first. And so this is the Nine. Nine is about feeling really good about where you're at, emotionally satisfied and happy by yourself as a person. And when you get to this place, then you're ready for the 10. You can't really appreciate and hold on to and nurture the 10 of cups the way that you need to until you're at the nine. So your person is on their way to the nine of cups. They're moving in really good places. So you can rest your mind that they're okay. They're okay, Sagittarius. Okay, so they have the full card and the sun card that just fell out too. So they're chasing dreams. They're taking chances. They are feeling very free with that full card. And the sun card, it's a baby on a pony. What's happier than a baby on a pony? So your person, if you're worried about, you know, if they're okay, um, you know, that this situation really hurt them, they're okay. They're okay, Sagittarius. And it's just a testament to how beautiful your heart is that you would still be worried about, you know, how they're doing. No, oh, they got the four of pentacles. So they still are holding on to you a little bit, but pushing forward. Um, that's a testament to your heart. How even after everything you've been through and the toxicity that was brought out in this ending, which I can definitely see here, you still care about them. You still want them to do well. You're still wondering if they're okay. 
They are, okay. If you're wondering if they're holding on to you a little bit, they are with this four of pentacles here. You can see he's clinging on for dear life. <laughs> they're still holding on to you a little bit, but they're not allowing it to keep them from moving forward. You're feeling you want to be successful in life, in relationships, um, and it's showing up there. You want to feel confident and you want to feel good about your choices. That's what we have the six of wands here for. You, Yeah, more fire energy. I love this. You want to go after the things that you want with that confidence. You want to chase your passions, feel that intense, fiery, passionate energy, and you want to feel good. Those are your hopes. I like it. There's a lot of there's a lot of beautiful things here. You're in a really good space, Sagittarius. You're in a really good space. And your I love this. Your outcome is the full card. The full card is about taking chances. It's about chasing your heart, chasing your dream. It's about feeling free. It's beautiful. Tell me more about this full card. What are they chasing? What are they taking this leap of faith at? What are, it's not it's also a leap of faith. It's Seeing what you want and then taking that chance, having that faith that it's going to work out for you. Tell me more about this. With love. So there is somebody that you want to offer your love to. There's somebody that you want to talk to. There's somebody you, you want to open up to. Um, and the Page of Cups isn't a super serious love offer. It's not like, marry me, please. I love you with my dying heart. It's you know, um, it's fun. It's flirty. He's got a fish in his cup. It's fun. It's flirty. It's light. It's, hey, let's go out. Hey, let's, let's go have dinner. Let's go have a drink. Let's go dance. Let's, let's just flirt. Let's just have fun. And you're, you're starting to want to take a chance on love again after a period of time of rejecting it. So you, I think, have been emotionally still kind of detached and maybe not opened up to your fullest. Maybe questioning whether you really want to love someone like that again, to that extent again, get into this situation again, because the toxicity at the ending and the fact that it ended in itself, that you keep trying to have relationships and they just aren't working out the way you want them to, is making you, in a sense, kind of want to reject love. But you're getting to a space where you're feeling good about yourself. You're feeling confident. You're overcoming that emotional blockage. You're overcoming that fear and you're wanting to take a chance and I really love it I really love it so I'm curious to see in our future readings if you reach out to this person if you talk to them or if you know you just let the knowledge that they're doing okay and you're doing okay just be enough Whew. my Sagittarius is getting ready for love Feeling, you're feeling so good about yourself. And you guys have earned it because you've been through the, you've been through a lot. This doesn't feel good. The other side that you're on, that hurts. You've been through a lot and you've overcome. You've overcome it. You're amazing. You're amazing. All right. We're going to get you two messages, two romance oracle cards. Children, your love life is being affected by children. So one of the things, like I said before, you could have had children with these. Yeah. So you could have children with these people or with this ex person. Or, you know, maybe you're meeting somebody who has children. Or maybe you just have children and you're, that's one of the factors that you're thinking about with getting in a relationship is, you know, I don't want to keep doing this with my children. I don't want to... You know, keep involving them with people. Or maybe you're meeting somebody who has children. You guys are going to have a blended family. It's beautiful. Let's see what else popped up for you. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So this is about, you know, being able to be very vulnerable and open with somebody. And when you have those fears because things didn't work out in the past, that can be hard to do this. So Spirit's saying... If you're going to take that leap, take that leap. Be a little bit vulnerable. Open yourself up. Open yourself up. All right, we're going to pull two Moonology cards. I love these. They're so um, specific. <laughs> That's why I like them so much. 
They have very, very, very clear messages. We have full moon in Capricorn. The end of a tough cycle approaches. So if you've been worrying that this is going to keep happening, it's not. Okay? If you're going to worry that you're never meant for love, that's not true. If you're worried that every time you get in a relationship, it's going to end like this, it's not. There was a cycle that you were in where this happened and this happened because there was lessons you needed to learn, but it looks like you're making that self-work. It looks like you're learning those lessons, and that is going to close out those cycles. This is not something that you're going to do forever, Sagittarius. All right, can I get one more for my Sagittarius, please? Bring love into this situation. So the message I'm getting for this is love yourself. And more than just loving yourself, it's this past person. Allow yourself to admit that you had love for them. Sometimes when we deny our feelings, you know, we push them under and we put them under the bed and we kick them and we just pretend like they're not there. That's not good for us. Sometimes it's okay to admit that you love somebody. Sometimes it's okay to admit that you miss somebody without having to be with them. You can love somebody from a distance, but that will soften your heart. That will help you forgive, forget, well, not really forget, but help you forgive and let go. So bring love into the situation. The cycle's almost over. It's not going to stay like this. There's new things coming in for you. So just make sure that when they do, to be ready to get that full energy that you are a little open, that you're a little bit more open. All right, I'm going to pull you one Archangel card. So these are Archangel, oh, this one wanted to come out here. Archangel messages. Let's see what you have. Francesca, what do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. So really, they're saying very clearly decide what you want. And think positively about it. Have hope, and it will come to you. And it will come to you. You're in a really good manifesting time right now. So take advantage of that. All right, I hope that you got something out of this reading. That is always my goal, is that even if it didn't resonate, maybe you got a little piece of advice. Maybe you got to watch me make some funny faces. Something, you guys got something out of this. So I hope that it did resonate. And if it did, let me know in the comments down below. If it didn't, I'm sorry. Check out your other sign placement videos. And if you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification button so you can see when I upload more videos. All right, sending lots of love, lots of light.